Welcome back, welcome back. I know you missed it. Hello, Tide Nation. Let me introduce y'all to four-star freshman Jamarion E.C. Miller, the Warhawk Killer. The E.C. stands for Earl Campbell, official nickname on the way. But for this play, this nickname is perfect. Let's check him out versus the ULM Warhawk. First off, Mr. Miller, you might want to get yourself a lawyer, and I'm dead serious because you ain't finna be out here crippling people, kids, and thinking ain't gonna be no repercussions. According to Alabama Title 13A Criminal Code 13A-6-20, this is assault. Shout out to baby rhino Josh Jacobs, the human battering ram, because that's who he reminded me of on this play, to be honest. He reminded me of Adrian Peterson versus William Gay with a worse outcome. Google that. Finish him. Ouch. He needs some milk. When the trainers got to him, he was under the impression that he was recently in a major car accident. Didn't really know what was going on. And the head trainer did confirm what everybody thought they saw. If you was at the game, sad to say. Sad to announce, especially for Warhawk fans, especially those in attendance. Yeah, it was confirmed. Though it was obvious, the boy doodled on this. Oh, this self. Miller literally knocked the shit out of that child. When they told him, he, when they told him, <laughs> When they told him he wasn't in a car accident, he was at his football game, he asked, why he had a game on Wednesday? Oh, they knew it was over. <laughs> they knew it was over. In the black household, we call that getting knocked in the middle of next week. Poor kid thought it was the following Wednesday. Thought he missed a test and everything. When they got him up, while they had him in the back, it took one of the assistant coaches who actually helped recruit him to talk him in the stand. The kid actually tried to quit football. Look at the hit again, man. I wouldn't blame him. Then to get trampled right after. Just trampled by the other players. Matty! Woo! That's instant CTE. He was knocked out by Miller and woke back up when he hit the ground. Really was a scary sight upon waking up. Pants packed with boo-boo. Still waiting to see if Louisiana Monroe going to press charges. Alabama could be facing having to give ULM upwards of 500000 and a five-star recruit, as well as jail time for Jamarion Miller, because this is public bullying all day as well. Go, go, Gadget Madden Truck Stick. Boom, Built by Bama. Poor kid, man. Proud to him and his fam. The boy ain't reported to the team nor been seen on campus since the game. Hoping everything is okay. And if you need something to clean those undies, like a sports belt in Vegas, Shoes tied. FBI, open up! Man, he said when he was rolling on the ground, all the way when he was just laying there on the ground, all he could think of was... <laughs>